Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm here with Dot. There she is. Going to see who's out there. She's saying good morning to you. And that's a couple of little sticks for her to chew on today. Or not, whatever she wants to do. She's still a little bit unnerved by this little kitten in our house that is uh, sort of dominating things right now. But uh, this is our brief daily message of hope, and uh, we're making our way through this uh, last full week in the month of September, and I hope that you're in a good place today, and that you're uh, experiencing the, the joy and the love of the Lord, and uh, I'm going to play the guitar a little bit today, or at least try to. We'll see what happens when I do this. There we go. There we are. A little bit different today. I was reading this morning from the book of the prophet Haggai, uh, one of the, the uh, 12 minor prophets uh, who uh, came upon the scene around the year 520 B.C. with a message to the Jewish people to finish work on the temple of God. They would worked for 18 years after uh, some of them had come back uh, into uh, uh, the Holy Land from uh, their Babylonian captivity uh, and had worked and uh, had stopped work. And uh, Haggai came and said, it's time to finish what you have started. Uh, and he points out to them the futility of sin. And in chapter 1 of Haggai, it really hit me how futile sin is when we deviate from the path of the Lord and try to find our own way. Uh, we are really lost when we do that. And Haggai was pointing out that uh, you've planted much, but you've harvested little. You have eaten your fill, but you're not satisfied. You have drunk continuously, and you're not satisfied with that. Uh, you have uh, put clothes on, but you're not warm. You have worked hard, uh, and you've taken your money and put it into purses that have holes in them. It's so futile that when we go our own path. Uh, and he just reminds us, and the Lord reminds us, that he has a way for us to live, a way that follows his path of compassion and kindness and gentleness, uh, of being grateful for what we have been given. I was talking to a friend on the social media this morning about how gratitude is truly the key that opens the door to the spiritual life. Uh, the world right now will beat us up. The, there is so much hostility and anguish and uh, pain and suffering and selfishness and greed and self-centeredness and uh, devastation and it will wear us out but God has a better path for us we're kind and gentle no matter what happens we're grateful because he provides for us not only for this life but for eternal life and we're grateful for that and when we are grateful we find out that we have all we need in him. We walk his path. Uh, we share with others what the Lord has given to us. People want to say, well, you, you Catholics or you Christians, you just uh, sort of keep it all to yourself. No, that's the exact opposite of what we're supposed to do. We, we have joy and, and we have uh, happiness and kindness and gentleness. We're here to share those. Uh, once we try to hoard those, uh, we lose them. We give them back. We give them up to the Lord as we give our thanks and praise up to Him. And He fills us so that we can share with others. I was thinking of, a, of all things, a song that talks about futility. It was a great song in the uh, early 1960s from Bob Dylan called Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, which is the way of, <laughs> of following the way of the world.
blessed day today. Follow the way of the Lord. Be kind and gentle, and he gives you all that you need to share with others. And God willing, Dodd and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.